Hello everyone and welcome to another Google Tag Manager tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to delete a Google Tag Manager account or how to delete a Google Tag Manager container. So let's say that you are like me and you created a lot of accounts and containers for testing purposes and you want to get rid of some of them, right? So how can you do that? It is very easy. Before we go there, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It helps tremendously to create new content. So thank you very much in advance and let's get started. So let's say that I want to delete this account. There are two ways to go. Either I'm going to go to my main, basically here, Google Tag Manager screen where all my accounts are. And once I'm here, what I can do is I can click here on the three dots next to my account. So this is my account and this is my container. So if I want to delete the account, I'm going to click on these three dots. I'm going to go to account settings. And once I go to account settings, then I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going to click on the three dots on the top right. And then I'm going to say delete. And then I'm going to confirm. And that's it. That's how we basically delete an entire account. Now, another way to do exactly the same thing, right? So let's say we want to delete this account here. So I'm going to visit my container and let's say you are in this screen. You are in the interface of your Google Tag Manager and your container. You are going to go to admin and then from admin again, you're going to go to account settings. Once I go to account settings, again, I'm going to click here on the three dots and I'm going to say delete and I'm going to delete this entire account. If you want to delete your container, so you want your account, for example, but you want to delete a specific container within the account. So in this case, for example, we're going to keep the account, but we're going to delete the container. So there are two ways to do that, right? So either from this screen, again, I'm going to click on the three dots next to my container, and I'm going to say container settings, and I'm going to go all the way up, and I'm going to say, let's delete this container. So in this case, we kept the account, but we deleted the container. So you see here that the account existed. There is no container or same, same, but slightly different in terms of the steps. I'm going to visit my container. Let's say here, I'm going to go to admin again, and I'm going to go to container settings this time. And once I go to container settings, I'm going to go all the way up click on the three dots, say delete, and that's it. So now we delete it. Here we go. This specific container within this account, right? So keep in mind that in Google Tag Manager, you have basically two layers in the hierarchy. You have the account and the container. You can delete the entire account with everything underneath, or you can delete only containers. Right, so let me actually delete these two accounts also here and do a little bit of cleanup. So as you can see, I have tons of accounts here that I don't need because I constantly work on examples. And that's pretty much it. So the reason why I did this video is because I was looking at how can I actually delete all these accounts that I don't need anymore. And the interface is a bit bizarre. So when you come to account settings, you're not going to see any deletion option unless you click on these three dots and then you're going to see the deletion option and then you can go ahead and delete your account. That's it for today. I hope that you were able to do a little bit of cleaning in terms of your Google Tag Manager accounts and containers. If this is the case, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a great day in any time zone and see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.